soon as he was born, he was pushed just here on me and he basically climbed up from my stomach up to the breast and had his first feed himself, which I think is mad because, you know, they can't crawl straight away. So I don't know how they do that. But anyway, he did. And apparently if they're left for long enough, they all will. He has these kind of smiles when he feeds and milk pours out of his mouth when he feeds because he's too busy smiling. It's just lovely. So I'm delighted that I'm still breastfeeding him. So it was definitely the right decision for, for us anyway. Um, and it was definitely one of the best parenting tools that I took on, even though I never, I didn't know it was going to be before I started it. Beforehand, I knew that it was going to be difficult, but I knew that it was the best option for him and for me. From from the day they were born, we just kind of, he latched on and never really unlatched in the sense. And as for feeding, he's just a real guzzler. He's been great from the word go. I think breastfeeding has helped me emotionally because it's an emotional roller coaster and it's a great way to soothe and calm your baby so emotionally as a mother that's all you want is to have a happy baby it forces you just to just to sit down and relax and enjoy the those couple of minutes of just calm with your baby who's super content just having a feed and you get a little five minutes of um yeah of peace and quiet to yourself so it's actually quite relaxing i find i thought i'd feel nothing really but actually i feel a lot of love when i do it but I didn't really think about it much before I had him, to be honest. I was just thinking about having him and getting him out. <laughs> but I, I definitely feel love when I do it. Definitely. I feel that breastfeeding really has increased the bond with Colm because he's so content in my arms. When he's hungry, he knows he can just nuzzle in against me to get some food and the physical connection has grown the emotional connection between the two of us. I think you spend so many months um, trying to get to know them but until they kind of come out um, into the world definitely that skin to skin that first feed um, absolutely bond, bonded and made me closer to them. I think you just have to offer it up and go with that when you're breastfeeding and realise that your body and the baby knows best, really. The moments that stand out in my mind when I feed him um, would be at four, two, three and four a.m. on the armchair in the bedroom, feeding him, knowing that um, I'm giving him everything that he needs. Um, while looking over at my husband to sleep in bed. <laughs> Picking my first um, born up from crash, um, every day was probably just the nicest moment because I was away from them for, for like so many hours and it kind of uh, took away some of the guilt. <laughs> um, you know, just being able to kind of reconnect with them like just after a long day. They had a long day, I had a long day and they were just some of the nicest moments. I didn't realise that as I continued it into going back to work that it would be you know, that it would just be really kind of beneficial for, for both of us, that it was just a not really nice kind of reconnection. The first feed when I pick him up, definitely, because it helps me feel less guilty about leaving him, I think, and it's like we rebond. Um, so that one, not as fond of the midnight ones and the three o'clock ones and the five o'clock ones, but the, um, the first one when I pick him up at four o'clock is, is amazing. So it's like we rebond again, we are back together, magnetic again, so it's lovely. What breastfeeding means to me, it's a physical, emotional, nutritional connection between the two of us that will last or would, that will benefit Colin for a lifetime. Beautiful and special. That's convenient on a practical term. It's just so easy. And the other two, because it is beautiful and special. It sort of meant everything in a, in a way. I don't know how I would have, definitely don't know how I would have mothered without it. The, the, the people that have supported me the most throughout my best reading journey will be my husband. 
my close friends that ha recently have had babies. Uh, Le Lech League and Cridju, the local groups in Galway. And um, a lactation consultant uh, in Galway as well. Um, I think it's so important to have somebody to support you because there can be lots of ups and downs and hiccups and at the start you're, you're tired and emotional and hormonal and exhausted and you may feel like giving up a million times a day. So if you ha do have a wobbly moment where you feel like um, that you can't go on or you, you just need, you know, you need more sleep. <laughs> And um, that they're there to just to just get you over the hump until it's smooth sailing for a while. My husband, pretty much only my husband, to be honest. Um, both sets of grandparents, while they have tried, I suppose, have on occasion all encouraged me at different times to give up. Um, different reasons. Some I get, and some I don't. But um, I think I think and um, a few of the times that they've said it was because they realised how tired I was. It can be very tiring, but I think having a baby in general is quite tiring. Um, but just my husband has been amazing. The support has been um, unbelievable and a connection that I'll never I'll never forget for as long as I live, because. It's a very difficult emotional time having a baby and then to get through the feeding process is, uh, is difficult and um, you need the knowledge and support of people that have gone through it recently and uh, yeah, my friends have been amazing. So yeah, that's it.